Hello. Hey y'all. I'm Matt and this is Jen and we've done a lot of snack boxes. If you want to try a snack box but you're not sure which one to get, we're going to talk all about them right now. Alright, so we started ordering snack boxes quite a few months ago with the intention of making some kind of fun videos about them. Little did we know that we would gain <laughs> such a pile. I don't even think this is all of them. No, but definitely But we have not. really enjoyed it. Each one of the boxes kind of has their own pluses and minuses. But for those of you out there that are thinking about a snack subscription box or which one you might want to try, we're going to run through just a few highlights of each one of these just to maybe give you some idea of which one you should try. My recommendation might be all of them. <laughs> They are pretty tasty, pretty amazing. But what we're going to do is talk about the value in terms of how much they cost versus what you get, the variety of the snacks, how they taste, and the uh, the cultural experience, because usually they're themed to countries and things like that. So uh, let's dig right in. Universal Yums. Universal Yums kind of has a special place in our heart because it was our very first snack box. It was. It's, it's really uh, an awesome experience. Each box is themed to a specific country, kind of as we go through them, you'll see that that's not always the case, but we, we kind of like that. One thing that's really cool with Universal Yums is that the outside of the box has this little sticker that kind of gives you a hint of what it is, so it's like a little surprise of what country <laughs> you're going to get. But this one is from the home of the original Memphis, which was Egypt. Yep. And there's no snacks in here, sadly, but we did save the literature so that you can get a good look at that. It is really kind of top-notch in terms of the literature and the stuff that's in there. You get this nice little placemat that has some kind of fun facts and a little map. On the back, there's a little scoring system if you were doing like a little scoring system with your family or uh, however you wanted to open it. Um, and then it has some little things that you know may have made the box and that just to give you kind of an idea of what goes into the box the little brochure that comes with it is really a cultural experience it's got some awesome stuff in it bios about the country fun facts about the country history about the country recipes, recipes. from the country <laughs> uh, and then it starts talking about the snacks um, how they're made, where they're made, things like that. And then, of course, you have the nutritional guy. Who needs that? Nobody needs that. This is this is a snacking adventure. Yeah. But uh, it, it's, it's really awesome. We've had some real variety there in terms of, like, the actual variety of the snacks. You would think maybe you want a, a snack box that has all just these amazing, delicious, delicious. snacks. But... When you're trying to experience the country, I kind of want some of the weird stuff that the country has to offer. And Universal Yums has thrown in some weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, way back to our UK box with the lamb and mint disgusting toilet crisps. Ugh. Woo! I can already smell them. Oh. It's a little sniffy. Oh! It actually smells like a like a stockyard. <laughs> so maybe that's the, the lamb part of it is a... Woo! Made from potatoes, born and raised in Wales. All right, here we go. It is awful. It is awful. It is awful. It is awful. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, that bad. was a cultural experience for sure. Yeah. But if you're looking for some variety and for that cultural experience, I think Universal Yums is a, is an awesome way to go. So in terms of overall value, the uh, the smallest box you get is the Yum Box. That's five to seven snacks, and it's about. 14 or $15, yeah. depending on if you choose a subscription plan or if you just buy one. The middle size box is this guy, which is what we usually get. It's the Yum Yum box. It's 25 ish dollars and it has 10 to 12 snacks in it. And then there's the Super Yum box, which we have got one time and it was absolutely it was enormous. crazy. <laughs> it was so much stuff. But if you had a big family or if you're having a party or something like that, that might be the way to go. It's about $37, $38. Um, and again, if you buy a whole year at a time, you get a significant savings. I believe if you subscribe and pay in advance for an entire year, your first box is actually free. free. So that could be, you know, practically a 25 to $40 savings yeah. right there on top. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty reasonable considering what you get in there. We, we've gotten some really nice snacks in there before. It's not just, you know, a bunch of bags of chips and individually wrapped candies. It's It's been some pretty nice stuff in yeah. there. But as usual, we have a themed rating scheme. You know, since this is a subscription 
box. It's a subscription plan. It's just like anything else you might subscribe to. So if you really love it, you're going to renew. If uh, it's not something that you're really enjoying, you could take it or leave it. That's probably just going to be a, a, a toilet read. <laughs> And if you're not so much into it, that's a uh, that's an unsubscribe. Aww. But uh, you know, overall, I, I think uh, Universal Yums. I, I I can't say enough good things about it. I would say for the overall experience, it's it's definitely a, a, renew. a renew. For value, it's it's a renew. It's a little bit on the higher side of the ones that we get, but I think the quality of the snacks is is there. Probably a few bucks more than a lot of the other boxes that we get. So. You know, you you could maybe say it's a toilet read in terms of value, but I do think it's it's pretty close to a renew, if not that. Cultural experience, renew, Definitely renew, renew. renew. Yes. Cultural experience is awesome, especially with the literature. They they request like feedback. They have a Facebook page. They want to see your comments, things like that. It, it's, it's really, really a awesome. community. Like when you get on their Facebook page, they want your feedback. You're a part of the Universal Young community, and so it's a really nice experience overall. We really love it. And when we've put stuff on our Instagram page with the, the tag of Universal Yums, sometimes Universal Yums actually, you know, hearts it or give, leaves us a comment. And that's really awesome that they're paying that close attention. So uh, do give them a try. Snack Crate. Snack Crate, we have really enjoyed as well. Snack yeah. Crate is another one that is completely themed to one specific country, not a whole bunch of countries. But uh, I really like it. I think it's really good. Uh, the Russia Snack Crate was one of my favorite boxes that we've done. Who would have thought that Russia had all the awesome snacks, but they really they did. did. They it delivered. Really good. Um, so, like you see, as you as you open her up, it's got a coupon code in the bottom. I want to say when you order them, they, your first order is five dollars off. They send us um, coupon codes, coupon codes refer frequently. Friend codes. Yeah, you get uh, significant savings if you refer a friend. So they're really trying to sell it. It's it's pretty cool in terms of the savings that you can get. In terms of the cultural experience. You know, you get to try snacks all from one country, which is pretty cool. Yeah. But the literature, it's not quite there. It's a one-pager. It's a like a brochure. Uh, it does say a few things about, like this one's from Russia. It does say a few things about Russia, some fun facts. But that's really it. The Universal Yums literature is like a, a little booklet with several pages of recipes and facts and things like that. And then you get a little... Uh, one pager here that tells you about the snacks that are in the box, which is really helpful because uh, a lot of the packaging is completely in whatever language of the country it came from. Um, this does have one recipe on it, though, so we can give them that. But um, in terms of variety, I would say that Snack Crate kind of leans towards everything's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. So if you want like some weirdo snacks or some off-the-wall flavors and things like that, it's probably not going to be in the snack crate, but everything that's in there is has been pretty enjoyable. Yes. You know, maybe at, at the minimum, it wasn't really that great, but it wasn't like super off the wall, like some of the stuff we've gotten in the Universal Yums boxes, but I think it's pretty cool. So in terms of value, so you can get a mini box that's smaller than this. It has about five snacks in it, and it's around 14 bucks. We've never gotten that one because we just kind of get this middle size one, which is the original. It's around 26 bucks, and it has 10 to 12 snacks in it, which is which is a nice experience. Oh, that's, yeah. that's quite a bit. Um, and then there's the premium, which we have never gotten, that has up to 20 snacks in it. And it's $49 or you know plus, depending on what subscription level that you choose. Um, that's really big. I think that... We would probably get that if it was like for a party or if we had like a big family gathering and wanted everybody to be able to try something. That might be something that you could do. But the uh, the middle size boxes is it seems like it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's perfect yeah. for us. It's around twenty six bucks, which is pretty comparable to what Universal Yums was. But it's a pretty good deal, and with all the coupon codes and stuff that they give, you can find some great deals there. So in terms of a cultural experience, if we're looking to give a rating. You get everything from one country, which is pretty cool, but the literature, I would say, is not really there. So cultural experience compared to the others, I might say that's just it's a, a toilet, toilet read. read. Yeah. It's pretty good, but uh, it it's be not quite there. In terms of variety, uh, there's a nice little variety of snacks, but there's not anything that's really weird in there. That's probably kind of a toilet read also. If you were talking about that you wanted to taste like every like weird flavor from the country, in terms of like overall taste, though, I would definitely say that it's a renew. Oh, definitely. It's, uh, this it has really, had some really, really good most stuff favorite in there. snacks. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of overall value, 
Um, I think it's a renew. A lot of things in here are like full size. Like we've gotten like full boxes of cookies. When there was a chocolate bar in there in the Russian box, it was a huge like one pound chocolate bar. Things like this. It smells so good. There's a serious amount. Of, this is a, like a thick, solid chocolate bar. Yeah. I mean, this is like the. That's you. You really do get something for your money other than you know just like a small bag of chips or an individually wrapped like candy or something like that yeah. there was some real uh, value in there it was really nice uh we did get a holiday box from snack crate which is was a really nice holiday treat and it was filled with treats from all over the world it wasn't it was to so one country. good too. it was really good universal yums also had a holiday box and i thought it was really good so just keep in mind that both of those they have some kind of special seasonal things and, and you can just things. order that holiday box you do not have to have a subscription or anything like that you you can just go in there and get the holiday box at that time of year you can also go onto their website and see what they have available sometimes they have like one or two boxes from various countries that are available rather than them sending you a mystery box if there was a specific country you're looking for you could just keep track of the website and order that one specific one which is really cool but uh you know yeah overall I, we really do like a snack crate so give them a try munch pack we like a munch pack for sure munch pack is a little bit different style than the other boxes that we've tried because it's not from a specific country it, it every time we get one it is from a variety of countries which is i think pretty cool if you wanted to try foods from all over the world and you didn't want to wait for you know month after month of different countries yeah. to come in you could just get one munch pack and give it a whirl i think this would be great as a gift this would be great as like a, f to take to a party yeah. and you can try stuff from all these different countries but Let's crack her open and see here. Again, cultural experience. <laughs> Since it's from a whole bunch of different countries, it would be kind of hard to put like long write-ups of each country in there. But really, it really pretty much just kind of goes over the snacks that are in the box and gives you a coupon code. But it really doesn't talk about at all the about country. the country. So yeah. in terms of a cultural experience... It's not really going to get you there in terms of learning, like, you know, fun facts about the country and recipes and stuff like that, like the other boxes do. But you're getting snacks from all over the world. That's pretty cool. In terms of variety, I think there's been some pretty interesting stuff in oh, there. Yeah. One, one thing with Munch Pack is that it's had stuff from the U.S. that we had, like, yeah. never seen before. A wrap icon snacks. I, I have never seen these in a store. They are like, from... What, what, what store are you shopping at? <laughs> they are from the United States. Uh, this is the United States contribution. <laughs> wrap icon snacks. Thank it's, you so much. Uh, notorious... B.I.G. Cookout Barbecue Sauce Potato Chips. This this was the American contribution. The exclusive to, American to snack. International Munch Pack. <laughs> wow. And I feel like I've done some snacking in the gold gold U.S. of A. But uh, yeah, that was interesting to crack it open and be like, hey, where'd this come from? Oh, yes. the U.S. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Okay. But uh, we've had a great time doing Munch Pack. In terms of value, they have a, a five snack kind of little taster that's between $10 and $15. Then there's a a ten snack version that's uh, about twenty to twenty four dollars, and I think that's this that we normally right, get. Yep. And then there's a like a mega size one that's twenty snacks, and wow. it's between forty and forty five dollars. It's three dollars off of your first order uh, from the last time I looked at the uh, the website, but you can save quite a lot of money if you do a longer subscription and kind of prepay. If you order just one, you're going to pay you know the highest, but they also have a, a quarter. Um, a six month and a full year and when you order the full year when you really are saving quite a bit of money um the one thing that is cool about the little booklet even though it doesn't talk really about the countries is it shows you kind of in a color-coded way what would have been in a bigger box say you say you got the, the smallest box so that would show you like the mini just has these things in it but if you had gotten the bigger box it would have this and it would have this and things like that so i think that's pretty cool because it kind of gives you a teaser of what else you could experience with it for the next time that you order it's also a pretty clever marketing ploy yeah. but, uh, <laughs> um a couple of times with munch pack we did get items that the packaging was broken or open, and that was a little bit disconcerting. I think it probably just, you know, got thrown into the package and it popped open or, you know, maybe like a box cutter or something got it. But that was kind of weird. So I, 
I can't really complain too much about it because I think it, it just happened. And but you still it, ate it. And we still ate it, yeah. You know, you know, we can't complain after we ate it anyway. <laughs> but, and we're still here today. Yeah. So, so in terms of a, a cultural experience, it's, it's hard to say, you know, it's kind of a renew because you're getting stuff from all over the world. That's really cool. But if you want to dive deep into each country, that's, uh, that's pretty a, much going to be a fail. You yeah, know, that's it's unsubscribe. It's an unsubscribe if you're looking for like a deep cultural experience into one country. In terms of variety, I think that is all day or renew. You get a huge Definitely. variety from all over the world there. In terms of taste... It's been kind of hit or miss for me. There's been some like candy and stuff that just I don't think really rang out as all of that unique. And there's stuff from the U.S. in there, which, you know, I could go to Walmart and get that. <laughs> so that's kind of a toilet read for me. I, I don't yeah. think that the taste is really there. Overall value, they do have a lot of ways that you can save money. And I think that the cost is pretty much on par with everywhere else. In terms of, you know, like the cost versus the, the quality of the snacks, it's pretty good. I would yeah, say it's would probably so. a renew. Pretty yeah. much enjoyed that. So, if you want to try snacks from all over the world, uh, a munch pack is definitely a way to go. Yeah. Boxu. Wow. Yeah. Boxu. We saw an ad for Boxu. It's a little bit expensive just right off of the top, but it's premium. And it legit comes from Japan. Yeah. Every box is from Japan. Tracked through customs. Tracked through <laughs> customs. It actually comes by DHL yeah. shipping, which when, when was the last time you saw something shipped by DHL? <laughs> you know it comes from overseas. So that, we think that's really cool. That just is really, like, legit. In terms of a cultural experience with Boxu, it is, it is all there. Each box is a different... Oh, this one still has snacks in it! Score! Wow, we're gonna enjoy these. But uh, each each box is Japanese. They all come from Japan, but they have a theme of the, the one is Autumn Harvest, one is the Moon Festival. I think that really dives into the culture of Japan. The booklets are top notch with page after page of facts about the snacks, facts mm -hmm. about the the various festivals and things like that or whatever the theme of the box is and it is absolutely been premium you know it's called pre it premium so japanese yeah. snacks but it is absolutely been premium it is not cheap however no. the classic box which is this guy has 20 to 25 snacks in it and it is between 40 and 50 dollars depending on which season it is and how long of a subscription you prepay for. You can certainly save quite a bit of money by prepaying for a longer subscription. You do get $5 off of your first order, um, but that's kind of a lot of money. I do feel like the quality is there though. Yeah, oh definitely. We have had some awesome snacks in here. There were these white chocolate infused strawberries oh my gosh. that we actually looked up you got two of them in the box, and we looked up that they were, if you bought them, they were $3 a piece. Several of the other snacks in there were just absolutely premium. Lots of duplicates. Lots of duplicates. So, if you, you know, you wanted to try one and save one for another time or, you, you know, give it to somebody else you could. That was really awesome. Mm -hmm. There were these, uh, like, apple cookies in there that oh, were gosh, so delicious. Yeah. And we looked them up online, and they, they were quite expensive. Also, um, Boxu has a store. So maybe if you see something in your box and you're like, oh, I, I really need those, you can go to their store and see if it's available. Now, it's expensive, and it's going to ship from Japan. But, hey, if you really fell in love with those white chocolate strawberries, it might be worth it You can you. get some more. You know, yeah. that, that's I think that's fairly unique in terms of the boxes that we do. Right, it is. When you find something there, you're like, well, maybe I'm going to have to fly to Poland. <laughs> to get some more of these but uh, with boxer you can potentially just go on their their store on their website and get some more so yes. i think it's pretty awesome in terms of cultural experience boxu is renew 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 it is they an in-depth look at these festivals and seasons in japan if you're interested in japan boxu is absolutely the way to go in terms of variety, there there's a lot of stuff yes. in here. I think the variety is an absolute renew. Um, in terms of taste, I think some of the absolute tastiest things that we've gotten out of any box have been in these boxu boxes. But also interesting things and things that are definitely, you know, right off, it is a flavor of Japan. Oh, yeah. So they're so authentic. Many, many packages. Like I, I think the one that's that we left in here, the entire package is completely in Japanese. And it just it looks kind of weird. So... <laughs> Cultural experience right there. Yeah. 
I believe each box of this size has a T in it, yeah. which that has also been weird. Uh, both of the teas were strange. pretty strange flavors, but that's a really cool experience. So I would say taste is definitely re a renew value. It's hard to shell out upwards of 50 bucks for a snack box. That was really kind of iffy. We were wondering like what we were going to get for our money. But I, I do think after we kind of went through the box and started to tally up like how much these snacks would have cost to actually try them. Um, the value was actually there. So I would say it the value is. is to renew. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to just try one to really get a, a look at what premium snacks Japan has to offer, I think that that would be a great opportunity for it. But if you love Japan or you're interested in Japan, please do try a box, two box, because it is there. So that's our snack subscription box review. I think, you know, overall I would recommend any of them. For cultural experience, again, though, probably Universal Yum. Yeah, they so, come in first. If, if you're interested in Japan, Baksu for sure. Uh, for variety, any of them. Uh, a Munch Pack is a great way to go if you just want to try snacks from all over the world. Uh, taste, again, any of them. But I, I would say that uh, Universal Yums, again, and uh, even Snack Crate. I think Snack Crate yeah. has had some really tasty stuff mm -hmm. in it. Overall value, probably all of them. Baksu is a little bit on the expensive side. So, uh in terms of value, I think they're all pretty much there, the but same, do, yeah. do give them a try. Uh, shout out to our friend Mary for making our professional snacker shirts here. We love them. And we will link her store in our, um, Absolutely. In our description. But give a snack box a try. We hope you've enjoyed our video. If you have, please make sure you nail that like button. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, make sure you nail that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, y'all.